Mac Method Gang. If you're an introvert, you need to fucking watch this video. Full video, bro. I probably just ruined my monetization by swearing in the beginning. I don't care, bro. If you're shy as hell, introvert, you don't want to talk to people, you don't want to communicate, you can't socialize like I was back in the day. Get in shape. Literally get in shape because nine times out of ten, you're not in shape, bro. I know you're not fat as hell, skinny as hell. And you're insecure about yourself because, first of all, you don't like how you look. I know. I didn't like how I look. I didn't like my body. I didn't like how I took care of myself. I didn't really take care of myself like that. Once you start doing that, you start building up the confidence. It's just a matter of confidence. And that's all it is. Listen, I'm always the type to say, don't work out for other people, work out for yourself, which you should be working out for yourself. But for people that feel like they are working out for someone or you're a beginner, you don't know what to work out for. It doesn't matter what the reason is. It might be you want more girls. It might be you just want to look fly. It might be you just want to be ripped. It might be most of the time it's because y'all are thirsty. You want, you know what I'm saying? You want girls, which is fine. If that's what it takes for your ass to work out, work out, bro. And especially if you just got your heart broke, man. You just got out of a relationship. You just broke up. There's either two options. One, you can go down the path where most people go, which is wallowing your depression mess yourself up, eat more shit foods, get fat as hell, or you can take route two, which is getting in the best shape of your life and proving her and yourself that you're him. Which option would you rather take? Which path would you rather take? I'd rather take path two, bro. I'd rather take path two. I'm not taking no damn path one. I'm never going to get fat ever in my life, bro. I can be damn near 80 years old. I'm still going to be ripped out here. 90 years old, I'm still in the park with it. In a damn wheelchair with it. At this, it's a lifestyle, bro. It's not a diet. It's not a two month thing. It's a, it's a lifestyle, bro. This is forever my life. Working out is a part of it. It's not the main part of it, but it's definitely a big part of it. You know what I mean? It builds up the confidence. If you're introverted, bro, you have to get onto it. You have to work out. You have to work out. There's a reason why you're timid. There's a reason why you feel like you can't articulate and communicate with other people, especially women. And that's why, bro. You're just not confident in yourself. Because if you were confident in yourself, you wouldn't feel no type of way talking to anybody. Seriously. And I know because I don't feel any type of way talking to anybody. I literally do not care. I'll go up to anyone I want to talk to. I want to talk to you. I'm, I'm talking to you. If you like, if you know what I'm saying? The vibe is off. They reject me. Oh, well. Next person. <laughs> it's it's really that simple, bro. And this applies to both genders. I'm not just talking about um, picking up girls. You know what I mean? It's a big part of how you should carry yourself. You should want to be in the best shape of your life. You should want to be Jack, bro. You should want to be out here shitting on everybody. Because guess what? When you're that loser in the corner introverted, no one's talking about you. No one cares about what you're doing because you're not doing anything. But if you're jacked out here ripped, you're going to get that attention. You're going to get that attraction. You're going to get that confidence because you're you're finally going to can go, bro. What the fuck are you doing? Um, You're finally going to get people seeing you, watching you, approaching you. They're going to start complimenting you. You're going to start getting evidence that you're him because it's one thing to just try to convince yourself that you know that you're confident it's another thing to where you actually get evidence from other people telling you that oh sh you look ripped you look jack aka me every day bro i get that every day i don't i don't even need i don't need confirmation no more i'm past to the point where i know bro i already know i already know bro i love it don't get me wrong i love when i get compliments it makes me feel good. It, it makes anybody feel good. If you get a compliment by anybody, bro, you're going to feel good. But at this point, it's like, oh, shit, I missed a car wash. I wanted to get my car washed. But, uh, at this point, it, it doesn't even matter to me. I, it, 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 seriously, it doesn't matter to me. I know. I know I'm him, bro. I know I am. You see it. You see me in the gym killing shit.
you have to get in shape, bro. You have to. It's going to help you in every way. It's not just about looking jack. It's not just about faking your confidence. You're actually going to get confident. And it's not, it's not just because you want to look good. A lot of people think it's just, oh, I look good. I look good. Yeah, you are going to look good. Of course you are. You're in shape now. You're not fat as hell how you were or skinny as hell how you were. But you're going to get opportunities. When you're an introvert, it's harder for you to get opportunities because you don't speak up. For the most part, I know some people are going to comment, oh, man, I'm introverted, but I don't have problems. I'm not talking about you, bro. I'm talking about people that was like me, the introverts that were like me, that were losers. Yeah, we're key to ourselves, but we kept to ourselves. But it wasn't just because we wanted to keep to ourselves. Half the time we wanted to talk to people, but we didn't have the confidence to talk to people because of our own insecurities, our body being one of them, our the way we carry ourselves being another one of them. You know what I mean? It wasn't just the body, but multiple factors. It's just building up that confidence and getting in shape is a good way to build up that confidence. But back to, it's not just about looking good because once you start getting in shape, bro, you start getting the opportunities. Now, this is what I always bring up. You got to understand that you, everything is better when you're in shape, bro. First of all, your health. We all know this. I'm not even going to go off the basic stuff. You know, bro, you start feeling better, all this stuff, but you get op more opportunities because let's be real. People want to be around people that look like they're about something. When you're in shape, even if you're not about something, bro, it looks like you are. You should be about something. You should not just only be in the gym. You should be doing other things. But what I'm saying is you're going to get more attention. You're going to, people are going to trust you more because they see you that you're clearly disciplined. You clearly got your body in shape, especially if they saw you transform your body, especially bro. I worked out. I literally trained this guy and I'm not saying he got the opportunity just based off his body, but a hundred percent part of it was that because he even told me his manager, his coworker seen him getting in shape. They're like, Oh, they, he, they seen him lost the weight. They seen him gaining that muscle, bro. And guess what? Within a couple of weeks, I was training for, uh, I trained him for four months. And within that third month, second month, they seen the work. You know what I mean? They seen the effort he put in. Guess what? He got a promotion. And I'm sure he killed it at the job. He told me he was doing good at the job, all this stuff. It wasn't just the body, but what I'm saying is it helped because the manager, the supervisor clearly saw that, okay, this guy put in that work, bro. He can clearly put in that work. He clearly cares about himself. In turn, I know he can handle this position. I know that he can, he's a good fit for this spot. There can be two people, one fat ass and one guy that's Jack. You both have the same skill set. Damn near you all. You look exactly the same. You same everything. Only the case is one fat as hell. One skinny. One is uh in shape. Jack ripped like this. Who do you think is going to get the position? The guy in Jack, bro. The guy ripped. You know this. It's not about vanity. It's not about, oh, it's all about looks. It's not, bro. And, and, and uh, it's funny because I get comments saying that all I care about is, um, oh, all you care about is looks and all you care about is, is the exterior. No, I don't. You goofball. You don't even watch my videos. If you watch my videos, I get like no views. My lowest views videos, the unchained talks, the damn, um, anything where I don't mention when I, when it's not jacked or about a game in the title, I'd be spinning that real stuff when I'm talking about internal things, bro. Cause let's be honest, the exterior is great. Obviously, I talk about it, but just because I talk about that one thing doesn't mean that's all I care about, bro. That's not all I care about. If anything, I talk about it because I know that's what's going to bring in attraction. I know that people want to hear that. What they should really be hearing is the internal work, which I talk about in my videos that get. If you look at my videos with lowest views, Unchained Talk, go watch my Unchained Talks. You'll see what I be talking about in that shit. It's not just about the body, bro. I talk a lot about the spirit. I talk a lot about your mind and your mindset and how you carry yourself in the internal and how all that things, but I don't, I don't have to even explain all that shit. I see a lot of goofies in the comments talking about that. And I'm like, dude, you're, you're an idiot, bro. You don't, just because I talk about this one thing doesn't mean that's all I care about. Either way, I kind of just went off on a tangent, but introverts at this point, bro, it, it, even if you're not an introvert, even if you're an extrovert, whatever. But especially if you're an introvert, especially if you're an introvert you, and you're skinny, out of shape, 
this and that. You need to get in shape, bro. You need to get in shape and you need to put yourself out there. And don't get me and and um not don't get me wrong, but the thing about when you start building up that body and getting in shape, you have no choice but to talk to people because guess what? People are going to come up to you and ask you about how, oh, especially if they know you and they see the change, they're going to ask you about your workout. They're going to ask you about, oh, how'd you do this? How'd you do that? Oh, they're going to say, oh man, you look good. Friend, then people are going to give you respect off rip. More people are going to start approaching you off rip. It happens to me every single day of my life. And you're going to start building up that confidence anyways. And the ability to actually talk to other people, bro. It just is what it is. You're literally forced to do it. Unless you're going to be weird as hell when someone comes up to you, you're sitting there mute and just awkward. No, bro. It's going to build up that confidence. And you should anyways, you should be going out here talking to people on the random, really. You should be saying hi to random people every day. I'm telling you, it builds up, it builds up that charisma. It literally does because I did it. <laughs> I literally did it. I go, bro, I see anybody for the most part and I say hi. It doesn't matter if they say hi back or not. I don't care about the outcome, bro. I care about what I'm doing because I know it's going to help me stay on point, socializing, being being able to communicate. And it's not just because I'm desperate for people to talk to me. It's not even about that, bro. It's literally just to build my communication skills to be able to articulate and properly talk to people in terms of business stuff, in terms of making moves, bro. That's what it's about. I don't even care about, um, you know, oh, I'm trying to attract people. I don't care about that, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to attract something. I'm trying to attract opportunities. I'm trying to attract the bag, bro. That's what I'm trying to attract and helping my communication skills. Because as an introvert at heart, bro, it's harder for me. Yeah, because I keep to myself for the most part. And I still keep to myself, but I'm just saying you got to develop the skills. And part of developing the skills, what makes it easier is when you have that body, when you start building that discipline, because you're able to apply that discipline to a myriad of things. You're forcing other people to come talk to you, which in turn, you're going to have to talk, which is going to start developing your ability to communicate and talk to people. It's really that simple, bro. That's what happened to me. Watch my video about how my come up, basically. Watch my video, bro. I literally explain everything why I started working out, what happened when I did, how it changed my life, everything, bro. Start working out, especially if you're an introvert. You got, it's November, bro. You got two months left of the year. You can either start now or lie to yourself and start, oh, the new year resolution. Fuck the new year resolution. Just start now, bro. There is no, bro. Renew your resolution is bullshit. Just start right now. So when you go into the new year, you already have two months under your belt instead of waiting for the next year. Can you believe there's people that are really waiting for the next year to start? Isn't that's crazy. There's literally people sitting here waiting for next year. Oh, next year, I'm going to start working out. So what? So you can get fatter for two more months, fat as shit at the uh, dinner table on Thanksgiving, eating bullshit. I'm not saying you can't eat, but what I am saying is start fucking now. So you can get fat as shit in November and you can get fat as shit during Christmas dinner, Christmas Eve. And then you're going to start the new year resolution when you probably already gained damn near 10 pounds. You're more fat. You're more out of shape than you were. Start fucking working out, you bitch.